warm welcome back to Communicate English class. Let's learn a conversation today. Okay, it's very important to learn new conversations so that we can learn new phrases, new words, so that we can use them in our daily conversations. Right? So let us look at this conversation. We have I have put the speaker one and speaker two. Okay, you can put your name here. Speaker one and speaker two. Okay, speaker one is asking, excuse me. Excuse me, okay. How do you ask if someone is busy with some work then you want to get the attention? You should ask excuse. Okay, not just hello. No, you have to ask for excuse me. Okay, somebody is so busy with some work and you need to get this or her attention. You must ask excuse me. Okay, how do you ask? Excuse me, are you American? Okay, she wants to or he wants to know whether the person she is talking to is coming from America or not. So asking, excuse me, are you American? And the speaker two says, no. The speaker, the speaker two says, no. Again, okay, speaker one, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Okay, you can change the same sentence into different. Okay, do you speak Hindi? Do you speak, do you speak Malayalam? Do you speak Hindi? Tamil? Okay, you can change. Just, just learn one sentence. Then you can use them in another context too. Okay, do you speak English? Yes, very well. Yes, very well. Then, okay, this is positive. Okay, negative how you say? No, I can't speak. Okay, here the speaker can speak very good English. Do you speak English? Yes, very well. How long have you been here? Okay, this is a good sentence that you can learn or question. How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Okay, you can ask. How long have you been here? Then you can just say five years. Okay, people will ask you, how long have you been here? Okay, if you if you are uh, coming from abroad and you are staying here, and people can ask you, how long have you been here? Then you can say the years that you have been living here. Five years or two years, three years. Okay. Then what do you do for work? What do you do for work? What's your work? What are you doing? That's a, and we may, and may to ask, what do you do for work? Or there's another question, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? This is again another the standard way of asking, what do you do for a work? What do you do for work? The answer is, I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. And you can ask by, how about you? How about you? Okay, how about you means asking the speaker or the person who just uh, spoke here, what do you do for work? We are asking the same person, how about you? What about you? What are you doing for your work? I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Okay, this is a simple conversation that we learn. Okay, learn new phrases, new words, of new words, and learn to ask different questions. Fine. So, the, uh, at last we can also add, nice to meet you. Okay, when someone asks you or tells you nice to meet you, then the reply should be nice to meet you too. Okay, the last one, two, T double O. Okay, uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Fine, learn this conversation, improve your English. We'll see you in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye bye.